Yes. Hey, Ben. How you doing? I'm Evan Stone. Millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. Yeah, right. You are one of, I have to say, you are one of my favorite, like, guys I ever worked on set with, ever. <laughs> you, you were fun too, dude. You, 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 were, you were totally relaxed, dude. A lot of but, people are so uptight when they're freaking you, uh, you're, you're just cracking jokes the whole goddamn time, having a laugh. Oh like, my god, it's funny that someone gave me a job as a porn star. I mean, what guy? What guy <laughs> that guy should have been fired a long time ago. <laughs> Somehow we, like, I feel like I sometimes, I'm like, how the fuck did I end up here? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm the luckiest guy in the fucking world. I mean, how do you... How do you get this job? When I grew up, we had this thing with like was made from trees. It was called a magazine, and it had pictures in it. And you open up the pictures, you're like this guy's a dork. What does it take to be this guy to fuck this girl? I'm dorky. I could be this guy. I could be dorky too. Right? So, how long have you been in the industry for? Uh, 22 years. God damn. Yep. Started when I was 12 years old. My balls hadn't dropped yet. Yeah, Ron Jeremy had to do pop shots for me, but now he's in jail, so I have to kind of do my own. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, uh, tough. Right, right. Tough break for Ron, unfortunately. Yeah. What? Like, what, how has the industry changed since you, you started, man? Uh, when I started, there was 12 guys. Yeah, e yeah, yeah. E and everywhere. Then, yeah, and then, then, then uh, the miracle of medicine happened, and now you, you can have sex on drugs. So it's fucking awesome. I love that. <laughs> and we have a whole new family. And the Internet, uh, besides stealing our content, uh, has, uh, has expanded and brought people from all over the world uh, to our family. I mean, there's obviously porn being shot all over the world, but they brought it here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Like, isn't is going from like, because obviously like, wages and rates were like way better 20 years ago than they kind of are, than you're getting today because of like the. the oh yeah, of, because uh, there's so many people and so much uh, product out there. Though obviously the wages have gone down. Yeah. Yeah. But does it still, you know, <laughs> still makes you want to like you jump out of bed every morning when you're like, I'm gonna get paid to get my dick sucked today. Ah, well, you know, I don't even think about that when I jump out of bed. But when I'm shaving my balls, I go, yeah, getting ready for work right now. Do you have a, uh, are you more of a boob guy or a butt guy? Wow, I'm more of a face guy. I oh. really like the faces, but if I was gonna go from face, I go face, boobs, ass. I I'm, I look at the, I'm the eyes. Yeah. It's the look, like for me, I used to call them like firecracker eyes. It's a stupid, whatever, I used to call them as, and it's like, there's a certain look in a woman's eyes, and I'm trying to see if there's anywhere, anyone around here right now, but like, you, you look at her and you're like, God damn, that girl is going to be a fucking fantastic. And it doesn't even matter what she looks like. It's just like, you can tell her, the whole goddamn being Both is just... her eyes, yeah. Including yeah, I try not to look in their eyes and they know I'm lying. <laughs> All right. what, what advice would you give to guys, just the average Joe, who is maybe having troubles with like, say, maybe he's, he's had a little bout of performance anxiety or something in his life and he's trying to get over it. As a professional, Oh, yeah. What advice uh, first of all, it's all in your head, man. Nothing to do with your body, unless you actually went to a doctor and he said it has something to do with your body. And stop being stressed about it. Uh, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, right? No one, no one, you didn't lose a, you didn't lose a life, you didn't lose a limb. You know, you just come back at it again. And once you get that out of your head, it's not a problem. We've seen guys, we're taking guys uh, at work, we just put Viagra, pumped some stuff into them, but it, it's got to be in your head, man. And you have to relax. you got to have a good time. I crack a lot of jokes because it relieves the anxiety and stuff that's going on. Plus, you know, the other people are feeling the anxiety. A stupid joke might be just what it takes to get them over the edge. Yeah. So just get it out of your head, man, because it's going to come. And then when it comes back to you, just think about the last time you chew a stud. And you're going to nail it. That's good advice. I, like, because I've seen that on set in, like, you know, we've got, like, gangbang sets or blowbang sets. And, like, some dude, you, can, you know he's popped a Viagra. Yeah, he's, like, off oh, flash is red. His face is red. And he's eating too many because he's, like, yeah. But he's nervous as hell, yeah, yeah. and so he's struggling. Yeah. And you're like, it's not, it's not about like just popping a pill. Yeah, because it's not the pills. It's, pill is an aid. It's actually not going to just make your dick hard. Yeah, exactly. there's other stuff for that. But, but uh, you know, it's, you got you to have it in your head. And, and then if you got it in your head, then you're going to get that chubby, and this this pill may just be what brings you to the edge, all the way to the edge. What about because uh, these these days, like with every, a lot of guys have this problem of like delayed ejaculation. Because they've, they've watched too much, they watched a lot of internet porn, like kind of shitting on like what we do. But do you have any advice for guys on like kind of getting there? Oh yeah. All right. So if you fail at a hard time in popping, that's no problem. Problem is communication. Tell the chick to get in whatever position you happen to like that's going to make you pop. Whether it's uncomfortable for her, maybe that's fine. Just hold it there for a second for me, and she'll do it because chicks like to help you out like that. Yeah, I find it like. I Women have this sort of thing within their like their ego, where like they, they get off on getting guys off. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, when you start breathing heavy, they start breathing heavy. Even if you're not doing anything to them, right? They're like, oh, oh he's getting ready to come. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah it's a thing. It, and that's I think it's important for guys to understand that. 
that it's they really do enjoy seeing you enjoy yourself at the same time. Absolutely, I think it's genetic. Yeah. And how Im okay? Last thing I want to ask you: How important do you think it is for go for guys to like learn how to eat pussy properly? Oh, so I thought. I was a male stripper for 10 years before I got into porn and dated a lot of strippers and I thought I could eat pussy really well and I worked with Nina Hartley and I'm, I'm like licking her pussy, yeah, but she's like, and she's like, ah, oh, oh yeah, I'm a fucking stud and then cut and then she, she starts talking to her husband who's directing and she gets on her phone I, and I'm like still licking her pussy I'm like, I go, hey, am I, am I, is everything okay? She goes, I don't know, do you want the truth? And I go, yeah. And I go, would you like to know how to eat pussy properly? I go, fuck yeah. So she taught me and I was like, Okay, I had this all wrong. <laughs> what, what advice did she give you? Well, you know, she says, get your finger, how you like fingers and stuff on your cock and your ball, get your fingers in there. I mean, you don't, not just separate the labia, but play with the labia, move it up and down. It's to work the whole thing, right? And uh, I just was like on the clit the whole time. She's like, no, work your way up to the clit and then feel the clit like you're a fly fisherman. You know, you put the thing out there in the hook and if the, foot, the fish grabs it and you yank it too hard, then you know, you're not gonna catch that fish. You're gonna gotta play with it. And you feel her hips. If her hips are pulling away from you, you're going too hard. If they're pushing up to you, you're not going hard enough. That, that is really good advice. Yeah. That, that w reading like body language cues like that is like, cause yeah, you I had no idea, dude. I thought I was like doing so good. I'm like, <laughs> like a dog in a bowl of water. Yeah, yeah, how do you like it, yeah. <laughs> Well, Evan, thank you so much, right. my man. Where, where can everybody find you? Uh, Evanstone.com, uh, Evanstone Triple X, on blah, blah, uh, Facebook, Evanstone. You can find me. Thank you, my man. Love you, man. Stay in school, stay up front.